Alibaba's Tongyi Lab has just dropped their deep research model. The word Tongyi itself means deep understanding in Chinese. This new model, which is Tongyi Deep Research, is a cutting-edge agentic large language model featuring a total of 30 billion parameters but with only 3 billion activated Pearl token which is on the same lines as Quen3 Next which we have been covering on the channel and which is one of the best open source model at the moment. This new deep research model enables efficient and scalable computation and that is what we are going to install in this video and I will also be testing it out. But mainly this is for long horizon, very, very deep research. This is not your general purpose model, I would say. If you're looking to do some strategic research, strategic understanding or very complex code, then this model would make sense. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video, subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. This model is built upon a few other tools which we have been covering on the channel like WebAgent which itself is based on WebWalker, WebDancer, WebSailor and WebShaper. All projects from Alibaba's Quen team, Tongi team I would say and you can find it on my channel by just searching with their keyword and that is one fascinating project which is going on for over an year now. So before even I go forward, let's talk a bit more about this model because I think that is very important to set the stage. As I said, this model is designed specifically for long horizon deep information seeking tasks. This model uses advanced techniques such as automated synthetic data generation, large scale continual pre-training on agentic interaction data and end to end reinforcement learning using a customized group relative policy optimization framework. Its architecture supports, I would say, around two inference paradigms. One is React for evaluating core reasoning abilities and an ITER research based heavy mode that maximizes performance through test time scaling, making it highly, highly adaptable to complex research and search scenarios. They have also shared some benchmarking information which I will be talking further down the road. But for now, let's get it installed. And this is my Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card, NVIDIA H100 with 80 GB of VRAM. Let me clear the screen and create a virtual environment, highly recommended. And because this is a very targeted model and they recommend going with Python 3.10. So I'm creating the environment with that. If you're looking to rent a GPU on very good price, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. And our virtual environment is ready. Next up, let's git clone the repo of Deep Research, which I just showed you. And you can also find the link in video's description of the model. From there, you can go to this repo. And now next step is to install all the requirements. So from the root of the repo, simply run this pip install requirement and this is going to take four to five minutes to install everything. While that happens, let's talk a bit more about architecture and benchmarking. And I also want to introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent, which is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application, empowering you to build, manage and deploy a custom AI workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks. So if you look at the benchmarks, they are very, very interesting. So for instance, what this table is showing you that model is performing relatively well. And after being tested on multiple agentic search benchmarks, including humanity's last exam, browser comp and various others. So this is where this model has outperformed existing model across most metrics. It has achieved top scores such as 32.9 on humanity's last exam, which is quite a good evaluation benchmark. 46.7 on BrowseComp is also quite impressive. And their own benchmark, WebWalker QA, it has done obviously very well. So I think after looking at these results, looks very much performant. Web-based deep research reasoning task agentic LLM. So one thing you would need to understand is that you would need to embed it in your application. 
you can't i mean i'm going to show you how to install it and everything but what you would need to do you would need to build your application around it and then use that agentic capabilities to do deep research but if you have used Kimi Researcher, Gemini Deep Research, or OpenAI Deep Research, I think this is where Alibaba is trying to compete. And as I said, Tongi itself means universal understanding or comprehensive meaning, which is, I believe, reflecting the model's goal to grasp and reason across diverse knowledge domains. Another interesting bit is if you go to this repo, which they have just released, it was just released around three hours ago, four hours ago. I think they are still updating it so expect some breaking changes but i think this is where alibaba is positioning itself directly in the realm of deep research and everything is now installed next up let's log into this hugging face so that we can download the model and this is my read token which i have grabbed from hugging face profile you can also get it for free and now let's download the model i'm just going to put it in a local directory and there are i believe 16 shards of it and at the moment it is downloading so let's wait and the model is now downloaded now let me show you how you can run it and do the deep research inference with it so in this repo, which I have opened in this VS Code, they have provided multiple scripts, which you can readily use. So if you go into the inference directory, there is this run react inference, which you can run. And they have provided some sample evaluation data here. You can change it if you like, or you can even have your own eval data in this directory. Like you can either do with simple one, which I'm going to do like question and answer it is going to do the deep research and going to give you the answer or you could just do it with the file so you can sort of have your own rag if you have embedding model and all that stuff so you can build the whole uh, pipeline with it so i'm just going to run this react infer and i'm going to use it in this uh, on this eval data one thing you need to do first is that you would need to if you want to web search because for deep research you need web search you would need to put your server key for embedding a model you would need to put your gina api key and then if you want you can also go with model api if you are running that open AI is one and then there are various other api keys if you want to use video you want to have sandbox so it is quite a comprehensive tool so basically you are building the whole deep research infrastructure locally uh, but then you would have to make use of these external tools. Now, it also uh, starts VLLM server locally, which we already have installed here, which is an inference engine. And there are various other things which you can do. Also, if I just quickly take you above, you also need to specify your model path, which you are going to use. So I have already downloaded it. So I will just give it my path. I will put in my API keys for server and stuff and then let me run this from uh, my terminal to show you how that works. And I'm running this inference script with the same prompt. It has loaded the model onto the GPU. It is taking long time and I think it is going to take long time. So anyway, I will quickly show you the VRAM consumption at the moment. So just over 59 gig of VRAM it requires in total if fully loaded onto the GPU. And there you go after around 20 minutes of wait it has generated the reasoning or simple prompt where it has given the output again the output is very very flowy very coherent it has first identified which tools it would need to call it identifies okay these are the tools which are available because these are the api keys which were provided not all tools need to be used you can also integrate your mcp servers here and then it is talking about from its own training set what exactly the web agent is then it is breaking it down in a typical chain of thought manner from there it is talking about okay what should be the plan it is planning it at in the react format like reason act and then then steps and then it is writing it acting it actioning it going step by step and you can see it's very very nicely knitted together 
and then it is talking about what I need to do. It is calling the tool, getting the answer from the search from this website. It is creating the answer and it is giving me a structured output in JSON format. It couldn't save the data because I didn't create this directory. If you create this directory, it is going to also put this thing in your uh, file. So, but look, I think Alibaba has done quite well here. If you need a deep research model for your agentic tasks, maybe integrated with your own agentic application, this is the model, 80 billion model running on one GPU. And how good is that? And if you have watched my Quen3 next video, you know that I already have shown you how to run this 80 billion model with only 3 billion parameters activated on your CPU. That's it. Please like the video and subscribe. And please, please consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.